Hello and welcome to our regular Q&A where you get to ask the questions um, and this week we've had a great question from Jai about tough pastry. She's finding when she makes her pastry in the food processor it becomes quite tough when it's actually baked. Now when you make pastry in a food processor one of the things is that it can become quite tough if you overwork it so that is the thing that i think may have happened with you Di. that you told me that you had combined the mixture until well not the mixture but the butter and the flour when you were combining them originally until they came together and they were blended now when you're making pastry it's really important to retain the butter in very small pieces so what you'll do is you'll put your butter and your flour into your food processor and process it using the pulse button until it forms a mixture that looks a little bit like breadcrumbs and this way you'll be able to see the small pieces of butter which is then coated by the flour rather than the two coming together as a blended mixture once you get to this stage that is um, when you're ready to add your water. And those pieces of butter are really important because when they go into the oven in your pastry, they will melt, they'll create steam, and that is what creates the flakiness in your pastry. So without those small pieces of butter, you won't get the flakiness in your short crust pastry. So once you go, you get to adding your water, um, sprinkle it all over the top of your flour. Don't sort of put it all in one spot or it will actually um, end up being quite sticky in one spot and really dry in others but sprinkle it all over the top then use your pulse button again to blend that water evenly through your butter and flour mixture now you want to blend it until it just starts being crumbly and just starts being held together what you will find when you're making pastry in a food processor that you will use a little bit less water than if you're making it by hand so be cautious with your water to start with. You can always add more afterwards, but when your pastry is ready, it will start, as I said, looking a bit crumbly, starting to come together. But when you press it between your fingers, it will start, um, it will hold together, but it will be soft, but it won't be sticky. So adding too much water to your pastry can actually cause it to become tough as well. And the other thing that you want to be mindful of is not to process it until it comes together in a ball um, because this can actually overwork your pastry as well and again cause your pastry to become tough once you actually um, bake it. Di told me she did rest her pastry, which is a really great thing to do. Um, bring, Turn the pastry or the mixture out onto your Bench, bring it together with your hands, knead it lightly until it sort of comes together in kind of a, a rough, well, it'll start looking a little bit smooth but won't be completely smooth because what I say is ugly pastry is good pastry so you don't want smooth pastry because you're going to get rid of all those butter chunks again if you do do that and if you knead it for too long it will actually become tough as well. So bring it together in a disc, flatten it out, wrap it up, Pop it in your fridge to rest for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on your recipe, and then it's ready to be rolled out and used. So Di, I hope that has helped you next time that you make your pastry. Um, if anyone else has a question that you would like answered, please pop it in the comments box below, and I will be sure to answer it in a future post. Have a great week. Have a great weekend, because it's Friday now, um, and I will see you very soon.